guys, Cindy Otter here. How are you doing today? Um, I am here to show you what we're going to do this year for my creative year. Now, what I've got here is I've got a couple other journals that um, I have worked in previously. These are both completed journals. And I just wanted to show you um, what I've been doing. Uh, this is just a regular journal I found somebody either gifted to me or something of that nature and what I've done with this journal this is my old process I wrote and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote a lot then I decided you know I'm getting tired of just writing so I moved on to this type of a journal this is just a composition notebook let me set that aside for right now this is just a composition notebook and I decided to do a little bit of everything everything from writing to uh, memory making to um, just all kinds of stuff um, things that I like um, a naked moose that's funny um, just odds and ends things that people have sent to me and just pictures in here it's the 10 things I love about my hubs well, maybe more than 10 but um, so this was just another way of me journaling uh, I've been journaling actually now for quite a few years and I have um, a shelf full of nothing but completed journals so I've been thinking about it and thinking about how I wanted to do my creative year. Now, as you know, this last year I used a composition notebook. Let me grab it real quick. All right, so this is for my year 2017. I used this composition notebook, and then I did um, a little bit of everything in here. Um, <laughs> that's funny. That's my wanderlust class. See how far I got? <laughs> Um, you know, I decided to start doing day by day, decided I didn't really like that. Um, this is when I went to CHA, all the beautiful people I met. Um, and then we did assignments all throughout this, right? October, November, um, different projects that I've done for book reviews, um, all this kind of stuff. So that was 2017. Now what I've decided to do for my creative year, which is 2018, I've decided to try even another different style. This is an old cookbook that I decided to paint up and um, I haven't put a sealer on this yet. As you can see, it still gets, it still um, stuff sticks to it. I don't know what that is. It looks like a glue, glue thing. That's all right. Um, I decided to try a three ring binder style now I've never done art in a binder style so I'm really not sure how this is gonna turn out um, I'm kind of excited about trying it so you know we'll do that all right this is just a piece of metal um, if you go to Gina, Gina Aaron's um, Etsy shop she's got some metal pieces in there and I decided to use this one here with the the little angel um, my creative year and then this is just a monster that I had made quite a long time ago and I just really liked it so I put it there um, now what I did for my setup on my creative year this is what I've got so far I took a big piece or I'm sorry a big pack of scrapbook paper and I just made these little pockets um, very simple just fold the scrapbook paper in half cut it down to the right size and this is the piece that I actually took off other pages so I just taped it in here now I also put in a card um, in each packet what I'm gonna do with the cards I'm not positive yet but you know we're gonna find out as the year goes along how this works now I did start on one page um, this is all just scrapbook paper right so what I did is I cut a bunch of scrapbook paper. I'll go back to that one in a minute. On the front side, I just put a layer of clear gesso. And the back side, I just left white. So what I'm thinking is when I'm doing this is to do my art on the front side and my journaling on the back side. Is that going to work? I don't know. Um, I've also thought about taking this book 
and using it for two other projects that I'm doing this year along with my creative year which is Explorations of Me and um, My Giant Life. The Explorations of Me will be myself, Gina, Aaron's, Ann Williamson, and Leslie McGrath. Um, so that's going to be a great year coming up for that. And um, My Giant Life is Ann Williamson's baby and um, that's where we actually take cards and we work once a month on a prompt for a card. So I'm thinking, hmm, should I, you know, cut it down to this size card and have it right here in My Giant Life? I'm not sure yet. So a lot of this is going to be um, throughout the year figure out what I feel most comfortable with. Now, one of the things that I am going to focus on for specifically my creative year is I am going to focus on chronic pain. I know um, some of you are out there groaning saying, oh, I don't want to hear any more about chronic pain. Well, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Chronic pain is my life. I live in chronic pain 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Um, I had an injury at work. Um, my back is totally messed up. Uh, I just I deal with a lot of pain and what I'm finding out is a lot of people won't talk about the um, the real things like the emotions the anger the the despair the grief um, the inconvenience of having chronic pain of living with chronic pain um, people don't like to talk about um, you know the feelings deep inside the you know the the depression um, the anxiety, the, um, the difficulty, all of it. There is so much more to chronic pain than just, ouch, it hurts. Okay? So my focus for my creative year is I am going to work with each month's topics. And I am going to create, based on those topics, I may talk about a certain um, item or issue, depending on what the topic is. And I really want to focus on the chronic pain. Now, with that being said, it's not all going to be, you know, oh, do, no, you know, bad, 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 sad, despair. It's not going to be all that. I'm going to talk about how I'm living through chronic pain. And I'm living a semi-satisfactory life. When I say semi, that means I can't do everything I want to do. All right? Um, I can do a lot of things with help. Um... I can do a lot of things, you know, in my head, <laughs> but physically it's just not happening. So that's where my focus is going to be for my creative year. Um, I hope you guys join us this year. We've, we've got a lot of fun happening. Um, the topics, I think, are thought-provoking. They're uh, very interesting. Um, it's going, pardon me, it's going to be myself, um, Gina Ahrens. And Ann Williamson, we are going to be your three main teachers throughout the year. And um, we also have Ian Jackson from the UK and Linda, yeah, Linda, I'm sorry, Lisa, uh, Lisa Swank. Um, they are also going to be doing some teaching for us throughout the year as well. So we hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely check it out. We are not telling you you have to do it one, this way or the other way. Take these topics, take these prompts, take what you want from the course and just make it your own. Do it your own way. If you feel like, um, okay, I want to work in chronic pain, but all I want to do is write, that's fine. Do it that way. Uh, we are here just to give you the inspiration. Look at this. I have so many of these. It's crazy. Um, we're here to give you the inspiration and for you to take what you want from it and just have a creative year. All right. Um, I hope that answers some questions. Uh, we're going to have the rest of the teachers throughout the week. They're going to be coming up telling you what their focus is, what they're going to do. And we can't wait to get started. Um, this page here that I worked on, uh, this is all it is, is I just wanted to sample the scrapbook paper and see how well it would take the wet media. Um, I put some stamps down, a little bit of collage, and this beautiful, beautiful feather that Peg, um, Peg Robinson sent to me. 
and it's just stunning and I thought you know what a great way to start the year so I really love that so I glued that down in here now what I probably will do on one of my first videos or so is I'm gonna make myself a like a little mantra um, right here I've left room to write um, I'm not gonna do that today we'll do that when I get started on the videos so as always, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to a new year. We're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of inspiration. Um, you know, thank you so much for joining us. Definitely let your friends know. If you've got somebody else in mixed media, bring them on board. Let's have fun this year. All right? As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.